Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 3D Star Strike on the Amstrad CPC, released by Real Time Software in 1985. It's also available on the ZX Spectrum, which I have many gameplays of, including a comparison of it against the original Star Wars Arcade on the ZX Spectrum by Domark. I don't think this got a Commodore 64 release, by all means, correct me if I'm wrong, as I can find no information on this. I had it on the Spectrum as a kid, the original tape, still have it somewhere, um, and we absolutely loved it because basically, it's Atari Star Wars Arcade. It's unlicensed. It does just enough for them not to be sued and how it differentiates, uh, you know, differentiates itself from, you know, Atari Star Wars Arcade. But then to be fair, everyone ripped off every game back in the day, like Kong, you know, um, Frogger and shit like that. And as far as I can tell, very few people got sued. Uh, on the Spectrum, it's vector graphics and it's absolutely fantastic. In fact, the only weak part of it is the sound. So I'm hoping this is going to be basically the Spectrum version on steroids. Because look, it looks like it so far because obviously we can see the ship. There is a 3D Star Strike 2, which on the Spectrum um, is utterly fantastic. Don't know what it's like on the Amstrad, maybe I'll play it. Um, have played Star Strike 2 on the uh, Spectrum on this channel. And it has shaded vectors is a shaded vector a polygon i don't know but let's get into this so this was huge back in the day if you love star wars and obviously this was released in 85 Star Wars arcade was released in 1983 uh this was the only way you could play it at home on the spectrum and the amstrad and what a good port it was it does mix things up a little bit we'll get into that i have not played this yet we will go with one because i want to be able to do as many of the levels as i can so you can see I didn't press start, how it compares to Star Wars 97 Atari Arcade. First things first, first world problems. Right, as you can see, shield is bottom left hand side of the screen, uh, lasers is the bottom right hand side of the screen, the lasers is on every version, this in the spectrum basically, deplete and then recharge to give it a, an area of, I don't know, strategy, difficulty, challenge. Um, and make it different from Star Wars. However, it's a pain in the ass because this is easy level and if they keep firing quickly enough, then you have to keep your guns on. It doesn't ruin it. Um, and you don't get a chance to recharge it. I mean, it does recharge. I do like these little screens here, same as the Spectrum. It does recharge pretty quickly. So obviously this is the surface of the Death Star. I mean, the planet. See, it's Star Wars. We're at the first one words, we are out in outer space. It's essentially TIE Fighters, I mean, they're not quite TIE Fighters. It's smooth, it's quick. I want to say, because it's blocky... Oh, see, I ran out then. Is this Mode Zero? Mode Zero Vectors? Because I'm immediately going to say, um, the Spectrum version's far sharper graphics and far better looking. And also, what is this... I haven't played the Spectrum in ages. What is this recentering shit? It is not fun. It, well, again, it might be to increase challenge because it does make it more difficult. Now we're doing a trench run. We can find a run. See what I mean? It's Star Wars. But here's the thing. If this is mode zero, I don't know. I don't know much about the modes and stuff like that. Just what people told me. All this colour was achieved on the Spectrum version. And because it's vector graphics with very minimal attribute class, you could argue none. So why didn't you just port the Spectrum version and keep these slightly chunkier but not amazing sound effects and then you would have had a brilliant version for the Amstrad because like I said play the Spectrum version sharper better looking visuals and pretty much unless you know I've got some weird member berries memory thing going on it's as colourful as this because I'm not a massive fan of how chunky this is oh but again see I love these little cutscenes oh yeah this is a Death Star run shoot those two things and then that's it. Oh, it, has, it has more to do with Jedi, you could argue, than it does with Star Wars. And that's it, phase one. And it's a moon, not a Death Star. Please don't sue me, Atari. But yeah. Ooh, light speed. Please don't sue me, Atari. I'm saying the Spectrum's better. 
And that's not me bashing the Amstrad. I don't know since I started playing Amstrad games on this, I must have done fucking 50 at least. I've very much fallen in love with the system and can accept where it is better than the Spectrum and where it is worse. In this game, it is clearly worse. Also, Chase HQ on the Spectrum is still better than it was in the Amstrad. Just deal with it. I'm right. People agree with me, so therefore I'm right. Thank God your shields don't piss down that quickly, and thank God it's not like one to five like it is in Star Wars, because I'd be screwed. Also, see how utterly useless my lasers are when we do that. Approach enemy base, initiate attack run, shoot something. Towers. See? It's Star Wars, but shh, it's not Star Wars. Hey, that's Wayne's basement, only that's not Wayne's basement. Hey God, that's a high cue. This is trying to shoot the towers and then shoot the enemy's projectiles with my recharging lasers is a bit of a pain in the ass. But it's Star Wars. Shh, it's not Star Wars. Please don't sue me. But if this was the only way on the Amstrad I could play anything remotely resembling, and this was the true, you know, the case, and it was true, um, Star Wars Arcade, I would have been more than happy with this. But I would have been happier if I went over my mate's house and he had a Spectrum version. And is it on the Commodore? I don't think it is. Is it to do with vectors, 3D? I don't know. The speed of the Commodore processor is doesn't do it for some reason. I know this though, um, when I explained that in a video where I compared ZX Spectrum version of Nightlaw to the Commodore 64 homebrew version that ported the ZX Spectrum code and said that, some Commodore 64 kid who clearly never left Playground Wars class got really butthurt and started going, you're so wrong, and left a really condescending, insulting fucking comment on why I was wrong. Yeah, if you actually watched this video, we both know... I was right. Sucks to be you. Is it gone? I mean, the bit in the middle's gone, but, like, shooting the cubes and stuff. Can I do it? Hey, it's a different coloured planet. Ridding the universe of different coloured planets, one planet at a time. Stats, hyper. Nice attention to detail there. This is easy, mind. Oh, it's halfway to my bloody ship already. So trying to find out, I'm playing this on my Super Console X with the world's worst control pad. I don't know what the keys were, but I didn't, you know, I don't think it let me define them. But yeah, it's not the greatest pad in the world, but add in this god awful self centering, which I'm assuming is the game's fault. Well, it is the game's fault. What am I going to see? Oh, it makes things really funky. So I can't even try. And, there is slow down. I think there's slow down the spectrum. I have had a quick go at Star Strike 2 on this, but just fired it up. That's got a slowdown, but that's got loads of slowdown on the Spectrum as well. Because it's shaded. But yeah, again, if you're a Star Wars fan, happy times. Well, you probably wouldn't like, you know, the charging lasers, but again, gotta make it different. Don't wanna get sued by Atari. Did anyone ever get sued? I mean, the great Gianna Sisters thing with Nintendo, that was years later, wasn't it? 85, we're still talking early days of, you know, uh, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC days, and everyone ripped off everyone, and no one cared. And they were all friends and went round each other's house to have tea and biscuits. True story. Or did anyone get sued? Hey, not all the towers have got yellow shooting bits. I see. This is, some of the levels throw, and we're only on level three, and on easy, throw too much shit at you. Look, can I just keep flying this way? That works. To give you time to recharge your lasers. Unless I just keep flying that way, because that works. Oh. Wait. I mean, it's still impressive, I'm not going to lie. That kind of noise, that is shit flying my face. Which, it's doing quite frequently. I mean, obviously, using a crosshair to manoeuvre these things, which, to be fair, you do in the arcade with Star Wars, but you do it on a delicious yoke. That's right, it's delicious. And also, when it's called a yoke, I'm going to say delicious for obvious reasons. Um, but in this, not so much. 
So come on, say fucking ramp this up. Can't help but feel they should have just done that in the actual bloody movie. Of which this is not based on. Boo boo boo! Three planets down. Solid system to go. Do my shields not regenerate? Stat hyper. That's a nice fact. They regenerate an echo bit. I can't fly away from them on this stage. And also, every time I shoot something, there's a very tin foil crackling noise. But again, it's better than the spectrum sound effects because that was just beeper stuff. I don't think Star Strike 2 Nose 1986 is 1 to 8k on either of these. I don't know. It doesn't matter on this though, because obviously we're going to have the AY chip sound anyway. Do! And words to that effect. Shoot 15. Ah, 15 enemy tower tops. Two. Three. I'm going to count myself. Four. I don't trust my target computer, so I think they're five. Count six. No! Can't shoot anything. I should. Six, seven, six! Seven. Eight. I should probably concentrate on shooting their enemy. Uh, they're an enemy. They're, um. Shit, more. Five. Firepower. I can't think of the words. And or was that nine? I'm not looking at the bomb. Hey! Did that do that? Did I do that? Did the force do that? No, the force doesn't exist in this world because it's not Star Wars. Shit. Oh, nervous hold me. This is gonna properly tank it now, isn't it? Yoink, yoink. It's quite the GTI, isn't it? Hey, so they can go underneath you. Obviously not that one. I don't think it hit me, though. That one did. This is impressive. Like I said, it may not be as good as the Spectrum version. Again, it's been a while since I've played that, so, you know, pinch of salt. But obviously, I'm a Spectrum fanboy. But this is impressive, and you would have loved this if you wanted to play Star Wars at home. I mean, what a brilliant idea to do it. It, all the magazines, you see, you couldn't say it was anything like it, you just advertised it, but all the magazines would do the rest of the marketing for you by saying, hey, it's just like Star Wars Arcade by Atari. Buy it. And therefore, you're not saying your game is like it, and the fact that it's, you know, so good, um, feature itself. Anyway, 3D Star Strike on the Amstrad CPC. It's not as good as Spectrum, but it's still pretty good uh, as an early Star Wars Arcade game. Anyways, always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.